Tonight on All Heart, we preview some of the most anticipated kid flicks of the summer. Plus, Rev T. Doshi from Philly Current Magazine is back, this time with tips for taking that perfect summer selfie at the beach. Hi, and welcome to All Heart. I'm your host, Lauren Hart, and I'm so happy to have you here tonight because we've got a lot of great things going on. Tonight, we're talking about the hottest and most anticipated kid movies of the summer, some last-minute gift ideas for Dad, and of course, we'll introduce you to my All Heart pick of the week. But first, we're going to start out with what's trending. Now that bikini-wearing season is here, the summer selfies are in full effect, and one town is taking the selfie situation to a whole new level. So the real deal is reporting that the Hamptons are now installing selfie machines on their beach shuttles. Yes, it's true. The free ride which transports Hampton vacationers to and from the beach has installed a selfie photo booth on 19 of its shuttles. So if you're going to take a beach selfie or any other summer photos this season, it's important you know some tips. Here with us to talk about those tips with great advice from Philly Current Magazine is Rev T. Doshi. Welcome, Rev T. Hi, Lauren. I still can't get over the fact, you know, <laughs> where are the days that people would be horrified to take pictures of themselves in a bikini or on the beach or anywhere? But this is a huge, a huge trend right now. Yeah, the selfie is hot and trending. Everybody's doing it. You can talk about it to any age range yeah. and everybody's like yeah I took a selfie. <laughs> well it's kind of cool because you can control and you can wait and wait and wait until you get until the exact right thing the right so shot. you're looking good yeah. <laughs> right? Hopefully you have a good eye and you pick the right one but sort of cele did celebrities start this like where we started to see people taking pictures of themselves in bathing suits in the mirror like in their bathrooms right? Yeah. Some of those photos. I don't know if I need to do that but maybe some other people do. <laughs> so like what do you think about this whole selfie machines on shuttles and I think it's I think it's kind of silly but I think uh, it's going to generate a lot of hype for the Hamptons. Yeah, because it's a good way, you know, when um, that's up for a long trip out there anyway. But it's just fun for people to have something to remember the summer by, and that's such an easy way yeah. to do it. So we're going to talk about how to just take some good pictures, right? T talk about taking some good tips for summer pictures and for the beach. And we had beautiful shots in the beginning. I think that one was our producer, Jen, and one was you. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> They're really pretty. Oh, thanks. So um, there you, there's Jen. Oh, too cute. Love it. Love the doggy. Love the baby. Um, so starting out, what do you think is the first tip that you would tell people to do when taking a picture? Well, there's a few things for taking the best summer photos. I would say, you know, find your find your location, which is either the park or the beach. And I think those generally, from my experience, have gotten the best pictures for a glowing shot. And then, then t number two would be <clears throat> make sure your outfits are coordinated. Because if you're if you're taking summer family photos and mm -hmm. such, you don't want a graphic T-shirt to you know take away from the subjects. Yeah, and always when you see beach photos and families, they're, they're usually in like the white shirt and the blue jeans or mm -hmm. the look, and it kind of used to look like silly at first, but then you know the trend kept getting bigger and bigger, and now it's just now pretty it's, much the standard. Yeah. people on the beach in matching <laughs> outfits. That's it. So, um, and no graphic t-shirts, no, no. no craziness going on, just kind of uniform. Yeah. Okay, what else? And the third one would be um, timing, which is, I would say, the best time to take these pictures would be during the golden hours. The and golden hours. The golden hours are for basically a few hours before the sunset. So I would say 3.30 to 6, you know, any time between then, I think you'd get a really nice picture. Because lighting is key. It is. Really you know, key. No matter what you're wearing, mm -hmm. I think the lighting will really help embrace any kind of picture. And you had a really cool sort of extra tip about lighting, you know, about different ways to light things. And you were talking about backlighting. Uh, it's a, a little thing I picked up by, I think, it's, I think it'll be fun for everyone else to try, too. It's generally you... The sun is behind the model, or you know, if the I'm the subject, photographer. Right. Yeah, the subject, and um, you stand in front of the subject, and 
angle yourself a little lower and then snap away and you'll see you're basically looking for like a halo type of glow around like an outline rim on the person. So is this some is, is this you taking a picture a selfie yourself or is this someone taking a picture of you? Doesn't really matter. Like do you need to be further away or like when you snap the photo? When you're taking the selfie like that, yeah. I, I think I would say you would angle a little lower and um, I think that's because generally we, we I said to start in the right. top, but this one you, t you angle a little lower. You've got the sun behind you directly behind your head, and you'll see the glow of the outline of your hair or head, whatever. Well, and, <laughs> and did you take that selfie of yourself? Yeah, the I selfie did. of yourself. This is genius, <laughs> Rev T. I'm, I'm always happy to have you here. It's you always bring fun pleasure. ideas and great ideas for taking pictures. So please come back and visit us again. Of of course I thanks, will. Thanks, Rev. <laughs> Stay tuned when we come back. If you still haven't gotten a Dad Day gift, shame on you. But stick around because we got some great ideas. We have craft beers just in time for Father's Day.